Oh, praise God, child of God. I'm happy once again to join you at Jehovah Elohim channel and be blessed in Jesus' name. We want to encourage each other once more. Before we proceed, let us bow down for a word of prayer. Everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, be glorified and worship for this particular time that you have given us, O oh Lord. I bless and worship your name because of the listener and Jehovah the watcher of this program. Bless him, Lord, and lift him up. Jehovah, for the glory of your name, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Once again, I welcome you as we share the word of God. I want to talk about the righteous shall live by faith. People who believe that there is God. People who are saved. People who say they walk in the ways of God. People who say they walk according to the ways pleasing God. The Bible says they shall live by faith. They shall not live by what they see. There are people, even ministers of God, even pastors that depend on they depend on money, they depend on tithes, they depend on, 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 on whatever they see. If people does not bring money, if they don't see relatives, then they say there's no God. No, it means you are not righteous. God is, is the one who will command what happens in your life. And because of that, let us read the book of Hebrews 10, 38. What does the Bible say? Let me read. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. The Bible says in the book, in this book that I have read, the just shall live by faith. If any man will draw back, then Lord will have no pleasure in that person. If you, if you are a kind of a person that believe on what you see with your eyes, God will have no pleasure in you, my brother. Let us have people that can believe God to the last minute. Even if you have a sick person, just know that Jesus died on the cross so that we may be healed. And if you have faith, that person will, will be healed. And that is why I was healed and I'm preaching today again in Jesus' name. Don't depend just on people. Pastors, don't just depend on tithe and offerings. Depend that Jesus will lift you more than that so that you be somebody that will be an example and a testimony to nations. We have people who have departed, who have left the faith and walking in their own things. Let me tell you five prayers that God will not hear. You as a servant of God, you as a minister, you as a child of God. Prayer number one, we have people who pray with wrong motive. They pray that God may do what? That God may give them so that people see what they are. God will never hear your prayer. Read James 4.3. Prayer number two, if there is a sin you know of, you are praying and there's a sin you know of and you don't want to repent. God will never hear such a prayer. Read Psalms 66, 18. You need to repent and tell God to, 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 to forgive you. Number three, we have people. They know how to pray. They can obey praying hours, but they don't have forgiving spirit. They have unforgiving spirit. So unforgiving spirit will make your prayers not to be heard. So I just ask you, you child who claim walks in faith. When you walk in faith, you have, you must have unforgiving spirit in you and the Lord will lift you up. Another pray, prayer that God will not hear, those who pray with unwillingness to reconcile. You don't want to reconcile with somebody that you departed with, you disagree with, you messed with, Unasana, oh, I cannot do that. No, just say God. Because you, you, you died on the cross. Father, today I'm reconciling because of your word. And God will hear your prayer. And if you read uh, Matthew 5, 23, 24. And the last one, we have people who have wrong relationship. If you read 1 Peter 3, 7, people who uh, they are in Christ because of something opposite. They are saying they are saved, but their motive is opposite. Wrong relationship. God will never hear such a prayer. What I urge you as a minister, as a pastor, as a child of God, you need 
to tell God to change you so that you walk in faith. When you walk in faith, God will have pleasure in you. Your prayers will be answered. May God bless you. May God encourage you as you hear this message, as you pray, God lift you up in Jesus' name. Bow your head as we pray in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to thank you and worship you because of my listener and those watching over this video. I pray, God, you forgive them and you bless them and you heal them and you lift them up. Those who Jehovah trust you and believe through faith, God, you shall never forsake them, but you shall show your favor upon their life. Father, I pray anytime they watch this video, they hear this word, something new shall happen in their life for the your own glory. My Father, my God, I bless you and worship you. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. May God bless you. May God be on your side as we meet once again and say Amen.